Ah, yeah! We are doing it! Big keep! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Dream Trip Oz, The Big Lap. We've got a super exciting episode, or maybe a couple episodes coming up for you. Uh, we have just hit the start of the Gibb River Road, and we are super pumped. For those of you who don't know, the Gibb River Road is one of the most notorious uh, four-wheel drive tracks with some of the most spectacular scenery in the whole country. Uh, because we're doing our lap clockwise around Australia, we're starting at the West End uh, near Derby in Western Australia, and we're gonna end up popping out at the other end near Kununurra in the east, just this side of the Northern Territory border. We've got 15 days to explore the whole 650 odd Ks of this beautiful, beautiful terrain. And uh, we'll make sure to bring you all the action and uh, tell you exactly how we're doing it along the way. So stay tuned for the Gibb River Road Adventures with Dream Trip Oz. Rock and roll! <laughs> first stop on the Gibb River Road is the uh, Leonard River Crossing Rest Stop. It's just before, so the west side of the uh, bridge over the Leonard River. Um, we're a little underwhelmed at the minute because, would you believe it or not, uh, the first 100 kilometres or all the way to uh, the Leonard River Rest Stop is all sealed road. So. Stay up, stay up, yes we can peak any time that's fine. Welcome to day two of our Gibb River Road adventures. Kind of feels like day one because we really just drove down uh, paved road yesterday all the way to camp and then did nothing all night but play games, which was really nice. Did air down though, so um, make sure if you've got any questions to uh, hit us up and I can um, give you a rundown on what we've aired down to. Uh, we are headed out this morning to uh, Tunnel Creek and Winjana Gorge, which is literally you pull out of the um, uh, Leonard Creek campground, cross the road, and uh, drive down the turn off to Winjana Gorge. So we should be there in no time. We're going to hit Tunnel Creek first because apparently it gets really busy with tourists uh, because you can access Tunnel Creek from the Great Northern Highway, which is down at the south end of the road. So uh, we're going to get there and uh, have some adventures before we head on to Winjana Gorge for the day. So stay tuned for all the action. Stay up, stay up, yes we can peak anytime, that's fine. That's another wonderful thing about getting up this early and staying out nice and late is that you get to see all the wildlife too before they're all scared off by all the cars. If you're the first one down the road, uh, well first you've got to make sure you're looking out for roos but you get to see all of that, you know. These, uh, these remote places in the outback, that's one of the things that I think we as a family love the most is the wildlife. It's, um, it's really exciting. Anyway, we'll see you at Tunnel Creek. We're going to drive past Winjana Gorge and into Tunnel Creek. I think another, I don't know, 60 k's or something. Anytime you like, stay up, stay up. Yes, we can peak anytime. That's fine. I can peak anytime. That's fine. Stay up, stay up. Yes, we can peak anytime. 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 Stay up, yeah. 
Hey, we're here, we're at Tunnel Creek. We've finally arrived. It's the first activity for our day two of the Gibb River Road. Uh, we're just getting geared up. I've just put the drone up to have a look around this. Um, this terrain is just spectacular. I love it. Uh, how's the cows on the way in and stuff? It's just magnificent, so much wildlife. Uh, it's so peaceful. The air is so fresh. The sun is warm. There's not a whisper of wind. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful but it's rugged you can imagine um even being here in the dry season you can imagine how hectic it could get in the wet season um anyway the road into tunnel creek is really great uh you could easily do it in a two-wheel drive i think you could do it from either the north or the south uh if you're coming in from the great northern highway too so um get in here and get a look but we did drive past the turn off to Winjana Gorge and unfortunately it's closed. Um, I had some sneaking suspicions. I, I'd uh, read some uh, fleeting comments and things online and it looks like there's been some serious flood damage uh, during the wet season, which has um, knocked it out of action. So unfortunately we won't be seeing Winjana Gorge. Two kilometer return, allow an hour and it's class four. Wow. We've done Karajini, we'll smash this. <laughs> the only thing we didn't have at Karajini was freshwater crocs. So, it's a new one. How awesome is this place? This is epic. Oh, wow. Oh, this is unbelievable. Wow, Tunnel Creek, we've literally just gotten inside the entrance and oh, it is that. spectacular. Yeah, have you seen that blue? Yeah, this is awesome. I like it here today. Oh, wow. Hey, we're the first ones here too. I think it's uh, completely deserted. That's the beauties of getting here nice and early. Ah, oh, it's so nice and cool in here. Check out the ceiling must be 20 meters high, I reckon it's massive. Ah, oh, I'm excited. I reckon um, probably from here on in, we might have to put our head torches on. So I'm not sure about how good the video quality is gonna be, but uh, I'll do my best. Hey guys. Oh, pretty dark. We made it. <laughs> that was so cool. A bit cold in the water and a little bit nerve wracking with the oh. thought of crocodiles, but we haven't seen any yet, so. And a boab tree at the end is a There report. mustn't be any. <laughs> I hope the kids are all right. We left them with snacks back at the other end of the tunnel. <laughs> Definite crocodile tracks. Take 
Channel Creek, darling. What do you reckon? I loved it. That was just spectacular. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I say that a lot, so the word's getting a bit worn out, but really, uh, just magnificent. A couple of swims. Um, not very far, though. Maybe 10 metres. Maybe 15 metres. Uh, and I wouldn't say completely pitch black either but definitely need a torch look it says on the signs that you've got to take in a waterproof torch with a battery that lasts an hour um, i'd say that's uh would definitely be the safe way to do it and it also says to come in with other people um which i would strongly suggest to we only we've only got the cheapo um headlamps uh but we could keep them up out of the water and keep them dry uh had we dropped them and they died then <clears throat> yeah probably be in a bit of strife so uh, I think if we were going to do it again or if we were going to do it by ourselves then um, we definitely want a waterproof torch anyway this place is spectacular the kids are just playing in this little creek here might have a snack before we head back to the car unfortunately Winjana Gorge is shut so here goes the rest of our day, we might just have to chill out and, uh, I don't know, maybe collect some firewood and have a fire tonight. Anyway, we'll see you back at camp. another six or seven hours. It'd be time for a fire when this one's split. I'd love if the other one's split in half. <laughs> I hope that uh, log splitter burns. <laughs> I don't know what's better, the fire or the sunset. Just beautiful. See you later, Leonard River. That was uh, such a peaceful couple of nights. The first night we had howling, dingoes howling and stuff. It was just magic. Full moon, I think, last night. If not last night, it'll definitely be tonight. We are day three on the Gibb River Road Adventures and we are heading today to March Fly Glen is the name of the campground. And from there, we've got two nights there and uh, hoping to explore Leonard River Gorge and uh, the spectacular Bell Gorge. So stay tuned, epic adventures today. It'll be our first real experience uh, on the dirt roads, corrugations, and the, um, the, you know, the true adventure of the Gibb River, River Road. So, uh, looking to get stuck into it today. Can't wait, can't wait, we're pumped. Alrighty, we'll see you on the road. How's this? 
They've uh, they've pulled out all the stops for us on our Gibb River road trip, eh? They're coming in before us to wet down the road so that we don't get any dust in the van. Oh, just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Luxury, huh? Luxury. Cool, so, so far the road has been in awesome condition. We've come through some roadworks and stuff, but uh, it's been quite a breeze. We're almost at camp, but just before camp, we pulled up top of this hill. It's called Inglis Gap Lookout. And if you've not done the gib before, like us, we're uh, gib virgins, um, you might be quite surprised to see the landscape. It is spectacular. And there we are, hey, it's not even 10 o'clock and we are at March Fly Glen, check it out. Ah, oh, gorgeous little oasis, hey. There's some camp chairs and stuff here, but it's a bit overgrown. Looks like there even might be a dunny, but uh, we can make do without if need be. Uh, pretty cool, a little bit of rubbish about, but hey. Uh, that's to be expected sometimes. It's unfortunate that uh, people make a mess like this and can't uh, clean up after themselves. It says on all the information that you read that you've got to be able to take all your rubbish with you. How hard is it? If you brought it in, bring it out. It's not hard. It's not hard. Yeah. Anyway, cute little spot. We're going to unhitch, um, drop anchor, and head back down the road west back to uh, Leonard River Gorge and check it out. Looks beautiful. There's a bit of a hike and uh, a lookout by the looks of things. Three kilometre hike and a lookout. Um, and then uh, depending on what the day is like, we might just chill out and uh, save some energy for exploring Bell Gorge tomorrow and uh, Silent Grove on the way too. So pretty pumped. It looks spectacular. I might um, see if I can drop in an image of Bell Gorge here. Anyway, I better, um, I better help Meg. Hey? She's doing all the hard work. Check it out. How's it going, darling? Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, so easy with this van, hey. We found a pretty good level spot so we didn't even have to chop, um, didn't even have to put ramps under the wheels. It's uh, it's so quick and easy, you know. Uh, back it in, unhook, pop the legs down, away you go. Love it. So far. Not again. Ah, oh, man, no close. I'm gonna go in and turn around, but that is, that's pretty disappointing. Oh well, what have we got here? Millewindy. Millewindy and Leonard Gorge closed. Ah oh, well, hey, you can't win them all. It's been a really hectic wet season. Uh, so we're, it's, it's now the 3rd of June, 2023. Uh, the wet season of 2023 um, was in 20. 20, end of 2022 was hectic. I don't know if uh, you're aware watching this, but there were plenty of like cyclone events, floods, and all kinds of stuff. So, unfortunately, this is uh, this is the end result, hey? This is what happens. Some of the spots get closed down. They've just been washed out. Access has been restricted until now, and they can't make the repairs and make it safe for uh, visitors. So, uh, here we are. Too bad, we'll keep moving. We might go check out Bell Gorge, eh? Well, best laid plans, hey? Anyway, uh, Lennon River Gorge is a no-go, so we're going to uh, bring our Bell Gorge adventures um, forward a day. 
We've just hit the turn off. We're heading through Silent Grove and onto Bell Gorge. Silent Grove is a campground. It looks like it's got showers and flushing toilets, would you believe? Uh, which is pretty exciting, but uh, I don't think it's cheap. Um, in fact, nothing about the Gibb River is cheap. So if you think that you're gonna get a, a free camping adventure by doing the Gibb River Road, uh, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. But anyway, we'll check out uh, Bell Gorge and if there's not uh, a whole lot else to see then we might change the itinerary i'll um i'll put it up here on the screen so that uh, if you want to and you're following along you can revise your itinerary as well to um to suit but uh we may bring the whole adventure forward a day uh to give us that um block in the middle uh, of open-ended stuff, um, which we're still tossing up. We're not sure what we're going to do. We're, we've, we've been talking to a few people about potentially uh, what the, what the um, road is like getting up to Mitchell Plateau and Mitchell Falls, and uh, we're not too keen. So we might just chill out. We heard from some um, people that we met at uh, at the Leonard River Leonard River Camp that they'd camped on the Gibb River. They did two or three nights there and said it was absolutely magic. So uh, we're pretty keen for some relaxing and some riverside camping and maybe even some fishing as well. So uh, we might do that. We might just do three nights on the Gibb River instead of uh, uh, spending this last night at Marshfly. But anyway, I'll let you know. Day three, we're headed to Bell Gorge today instead of Leonard River Gorge. Geez, if they'd just clear some of these rocks off the path, it would be easy walking. I guess we make a good pattern. So cool. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful spot. So the height goes up and over, up over these rocks behind me, down along the opposite bank, and down into the gorge. So we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to get our feet wet, I think. Oh man, would you look at this place, hey? Check out the waterfall. Wow, Bell Gorge, just spectacular. Oh, I can't wait to get in the water. Busier than we'd like, but can't help that when you roll in after lunch. this place hey eh? so it just keeps going you can hop in ride the little falls if you bring a tube we should have brought a tube geez we're disorganized or at least say um what do you call it noodle and you just ride the falls Woo! down and around the corner ah super <laughs> heaps of fun ah just awesome this place bell gorge 
spectacular. Gorge, hey? This place is just stunning. <clears throat> I love it. We just swam. There's a couple of pools and a couple of waterfalls that you've got to do. Um, if we'd known, we would have brought the tubes down. We got a couple of don inflatable donuts that we should have brought down with us. At the very least, we should have brought a couple of pool noodles with us so that we could, uh, you can hop in sort of at the top of the falls and just float your way down. It's just beautiful. Heaps to see, little frogs everywhere. And if you go all the way to the end, and just around the corner, it opens up and there's this beautiful gorge. View of the gorge, I'll put all that footage in. You must be out of your head. I must be out of my head turn. Oh, come check this out with me. Wait for it. Oh, yeah. Well, the first gorge on our uh, Gibb River Road adventures and tell you what, we were not disappointed. Uh, if this is any indication of what the rest of this trip's going to be like, I'm pretty excited to say the least. <laughs>